All right, guys. So we are officially just five days from the official fourth anniversary date. Now, we will be getting two weekly reset updates this week it's a very weird week guys and it's gonna be filled with a whole bunch of leaks and updates so if you guys do want to stay up to date with everything dragon ball legends make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and if you guys do find value in today's video uh make sure you guys simply like the video because it's for free so and i'd also greatly appreciate it so yeah guys uh let's not waste any time so like i said very weird week just because the fourth anniversary is going to be placed on a saturday sunday which is in between a double weekly reset so very strange uh we're, we're gonna be getting a pretty moderate update tomorrow uh we're gonna have 10 event ending guys and one banner so um and this is all I'll, I'll be talking about the second part of the uh fourth anniversary as well because you guys please i don't want you guys to be blindsided by uh you know MUI goku all those MUI goku and you guys should obviously spend on the fourth anniversary the fourth anniversary is gonna have two parts so uh yeah guys let's not waste any time let's straight up just see exactly which events are ending first and foremost so uh we have basically this choice battle countdown ending this weekly reset alongside the hyper dimensional co-op which is extended just a little bit to match alongside the second part of the weekly reset now i know this all sounds confusing so really quick guys let me bring up the calendar so we are right uh, i believe we're right here on the uh, on the 23rd right so right here tomorrow night for me because i'm pacific time uh we're gonna be getting a brand new weekly uh, you know reset right so right here on the 24th uh is when co-op would technically end but it's gonna end right here on the 28th uh, 27th, 28th, 29th, when the anniversary officially starts. So that's just something to, to just map out for you guys uh, really quick. Zenkai Rush, although, is going to be resetting officially tomorrow. So that's really nice. Uh, perhaps some new... Um, we are going to get some returning Zenkais as well, but we'll get to that in just one bit. Battle Gauntlet versus, um, you know, uh, Great Sandman 1 and 2 is ending. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not a real big fan of those. Actually, I didn't expect Great Sandman 1 and 2, but I believe that's going to be a setup for the second part of the anniversary where... There's going to be a collab with Dragon Ball Super Super Hero, so uh, that's another topic of discussion, though. Legends Road Piccolo uh, event are officially ending. Um, they're going to be coming back, of, of course, you know, uh, later down the line. But, guys, really quick, let's talk about Legends Road for one second. What happened to Legends Road? I remember, like, three, four videos and stuff ago, Toshi specifically saying that Legends Road is going to get revived. Apparently not, because it's been, like, three or four months. So, that's just something to know in case they watch this video, so... Uh, yeah, also from the original series, Android 19 and 20 is ending, which means that we are going to be getting a brand new Adventures. That whole Samurai Adventures that we have now is um, is going to end, I believe. If not tomorrow, it's going to end on the 28th. Like I said, it's a very weird week. It's going to be a double, uh, you know, pretty much a double weekly reset update. So that's just something to keep in mind. Also, Term in the Power and Space Time Duel is ending. Uh, of course, this uh, Space Time Duel is most likely going to have a featured bonus of MUI Goku and any other units that come through with that. So, I'm uh, really curious to see uh, which featured bonus units is going to be on top. So, uh, the last hope Android 17 and 18 LF banner is ending. This banner was actually really good. Uh, very underestimated. Android 17 and 18 is phenomenal. They also have LF Cell, which recently just got a buff. Uh, LF Gohan. I'm not saying spend on this. Don't spend on this, obviously. But it was a good banner when it was around. So uh, that is uh, something I'm definitely going to miss. It, it sucks that I couldn't really spend too much on it. Just because I was saving my crystals like hardcore, as you guys can see. I have 41,000 crystals saved up. I should clear 42, 43 after the PvP and Terminal Power Season ends. Uh, so I'll be like around like 43,000 uh, by the time the anniversary starts. I will be making a summon video. Uh, of course, a 40,000 mega summon video for MUI Goku and whoever else comes. Um, you know, we all know that TN is officially going to come. But who else is going to be the next LF, right? Because there's going to be two LFs. Uh, but guys, really quick, comment down below how much crystals you guys have saved up. I tried my best in my channel to prepare you guys three months in advance to try to get you guys to save crystals for tomorrow for MUI Goku. I was harping you guys literally every single video. I'm like, hey, this is how you get crystals. You should save, you should spend, you should save. I was literally on your guys' case. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. Hopefully, you guys did save a lot because of me. Uh, but yeah, guys, like I said, two banners are coming back. This is very, very interesting. I mean, very interesting. We're getting God. Um, <clears throat> we're getting God Vegeta uh, coming back, which is a yellow, you know, Zenkai, as well as a Kami Piccolo. Now, this is the one that's interesting, guys. 
Uh, the reason why we're getting a whole bunch of God keys, Zenkai is coming back. Like, uh, for example, we just got the Battle Gauntlet versus the Freezer Resurrection uh, Saga uh, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, which buffs purple. This is going to buff yellow. A lot a lot of people are saying that uh, MUI Goku is going to be yellow. I assure you, he is not going to be yellow. He makes no sense on yellow whatsoever. And I'll break it down for you guys in just one bit. Now, really quick. A lot of you guys might be saying you might be new to the game. You might be saying, DB Zoom, why does this matter? Well, if, if you guys have been playing Dragon Ball Legends, you guys know that whenever they bring back Zenkai's right before a big banner, it's just to prepare that specific team tag, um, you know, uh, so you guys are ready for uh, team building. So that's going to be the case here. They want you to get some yellow God Key, which is Super Saiyan Blue Kaoken Goku, obviously, to Zenkai buff him or, you know, uh, Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta. We also have Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. That's yellow God Key. So and that's all those characters that you know why 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 would MUI Goku be yellow when all those characters are yellow? So uh, really quick, this um this Piccolo uh Kami Piccolo tells me a lot, guys. Uh, fuse Kami with Piccolo. Now he's blue. It doesn't necessarily mean that whatever region I, I predict a region unit to be coming out for an LF, whether it be LF Baby, whether it be LF Janimba, who knows? Maybe a brand new Piccolo. I don't know, right? Maybe this is just a setup for the brand new movie Dragon Ball Super Superhero, which is you know the second part of the anniversary. So that's still yet to be determined. But I predict a region unit coming out within an LF region unit coming out within the next. Um, either right now for the anniversary or for the, for the first part or the second part of the anniversary. So this is going to buff, obviously, LF Kid Buu. People are predicting that LF Kid Buu might get his unique plaque, which leads me to my next thing, guys. Unique plaques. Um, this should be coming back, if not tomorrow night. It definitely should 100% be coming back, um, obviously, uh, on the 28th. So like I said, it's going to be a very weird week. Usually, I have things down to a T on my channel, but uh, things are getting thrown left and right, and I have to just kind of like pick out information like for example we just got this leak of um like i said i just saw this yesterday yesterday is what like a, a saturday like a random leak came out of saturday so that's why i'd always uh highly advise you guys to you know uh hit that notification button because this week is gonna be insane guys absolutely insane and if you guys also want to follow me on my twitter i also post a whole bunch of information there i'll link it down below it's dbzoom underscore yt so guys, let's talk about why MUI Goku will not <laughs> be yellow. I have no idea where this notion is coming from, where MUI Goku is going to be yellow. I hear this coming. Uh, let me just debunk this right now. Why would he be yellow when he falls under Universal Saga and we just got Ultra Super Saiyan Blue Kaoken Goku, which is not only Universal Saga, but also God Key. And God Key, we also have Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. And as well as God Key, we also have Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta. So yeah, it makes absolutely no sense for him to be yellow whatsoever, honestly. Um, red would be the best bet for me. He could be anything else. Who knows, right? He could be blue, for goodness sakes. He could possibly be, uh, uh, be blue. Who knows? Because blue, I mean, blue, the only thing that's holding blue down is this God Destruction Beerus, but he's pretty solid in his own. Obviously, he nullifies Revive. But red, if you just take a look at Universal Saga, there's literally only Bergamo. And then in blue, we only have half Carpathus Amasu, which definitely needs a unique plaque. Um, but that's just a different top of the, uh, topic right there, which I'm not going to get too much details into. Uh, but also saying, if you take a look at Saiyans, guys, we have 8 Vegeta and this um, free Ultra Super Saiyan uh, Goku right here. So uh, there's not much red for Saiyans. There's not much red for God Key and as well as Universal Saga. So if I had to guess, he would 100% be uh, red. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have to wait and see. I, like like I said, we will be getting some more leaks. And also, Shenron should be coming back. Obviously, we know that. This is a leak from like a week ago. But uh, we're officially five days away. So this image you guys see here should be coming out tomorrow uh, for the weekly reset. The Shenron image followed. Oh, I'm sorry. First, this image down here, which is going to be five days, uh, which should be tomorrow or tonight, technically, right? Um, or tomorrow, five days, something like that, right? So the anniversary should be coming out I believe uh, it's the videos and stuff is going to be on the 28th. So I believe on the 29th, it should be coming out around here. If for some reason, they do push it to the 31st. That's possible because it's, you know, tied into Wednesday uh, on the 1st. So that'd be that also makes sense. But I think it's going to be over the weekend. Uh, but really quick, guys, second part of the anniversary is going to be around here. I would say on the 22nd, on the 15th, just because the Dragon Ball Super Superhero movie officially comes out in Japan on the 11th. So we can definitely 100% expect a collaboration. We already have a collaboration with Gamma 1 and 2, but the full collaboration with the brand new, uh, you know, uh, Piccolo with the, uh, you know, I don't know what they call it. They call it the uh, potential unlocked Piccolo as well as the brand new Gohan or whatever else he has in store for us right so and the big bad that's yet to be revealed so very excited guys 
So hopefully I covered everything as quickly as possible because I don't want to make the video too long. I want to get straight to the point. But if you guys did find value in today's video, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up and subscribe if you guys have not already. And I'll definitely catch you guys. Who knows? Maybe again tonight for some more leaks. So uh, make sure you guys have those notifications on. So have a good one. Peace.